guys. What's going on? Um, Jesse from My Weightless Journey here, and today we're just going to be doing a little life update, honestly. I uh, haven't done one of these in a while, so I just thought now would be a good time. Um, but, yeah, I probably should have cleaned my glasses first. I didn't really plan this out. I just want to kind of make a short, I say short, but it'll probably end up being way longer than I expected, but I just want to make a little video um, going over what's been going on in my life, so yeah, maybe um, you guys are, are in similar uh, circumstances, maybe not. Uh, I'm not going to go too in depth with, with everything as far as um, health and well, health issues and, and such, but I am going to set some goals here for um, for the next few months, and yeah, uh, hopefully having the goals in a video public um, will help me keep them more as I've sort of fallen off of my um, um, my disciplinary phase that I was going through after after such a, a emotional and stressful time in my life I I found that I put myself into a very um, structured and disciplined lifestyle which was good and I've fallen off of it. I don't know if it's like due to stress, but I believe it, it very well. Maybe I'm just trying to get a, get a quick uh, camera here so I can see what's happening on my other screen, but I pretty much got, got um, very stressed with I guess just you know, life and um, I mean it happens, but I was getting really bad headaches, really bad um, um, chest pains, you name it, pains all over, just uh, very unhappy and I was becoming depressed and I didn't know why, other than the fact that the um, the relationship that was keeping me going had ended. I didn't know why I was becoming so depressed about everything, and I was just falling off. Um, day by day, I started not not waking up um, early anymore, and I started, well, I kind of started with going to bed later, because I just couldn't sleep, and, and uh, I had quit. Um, quit uh, smoking cannabis and I was uh, just going through a lot of stress with with um, myself like battling myself over over the relationship I was in and and how I handled things and I've I've still been battling it but pretty much I ended up falling off with that started falling off with my diet and then I, I was reading every day, and that started to slow down. I, I was, I was going for jogs every day. I still go for a walk every day, uh, regardless, long walks. But I stopped working out uh, consistently. I've, it's been quite a while since I've I've had a cons like consistent routine as far as weightlifting. So, like, I'm not I'm not proud of that. But um, it it's excuse me, it's it's life. I I guess you know it's um bound to happen to everyone, and I think just everything all at once, the health problems kind of stopped me from working out. I couldn't do anything that would strain my body um, because I would get.
get super intense tension headaches. Still get them from time to time, but not n nearly as severe. And um, I'm happy for that. That uh, they're not as bad, but uh, other health um, related uh, issues were coming up, and I didn't know how to deal with them, and I still don't. And I'm, I'm just trying to cope and try to try to just think positive again, like I used to. And I don't know why it's so hard for me to do this now, but it it just is. And I'm still not waking up early, still not going to bed early. I'm getting my my diet on track. I, I haven't, I didn't go too far off through um, through the month of December. I stopped in keto. It was supposed to be um, Christmas Eve was the last day of my keto, but I ended up stopping like I want to say the end of November to the beginning of December just because I was so stressed out. I, I was just doing anything and everything I could to give me some temporary happiness and, and relief. So I started eating carbs and and uh, I was still sort of keeping it healthy though I would binge eat from time to time and I can't say that that I ever got over the binge eating from years ago. I don't do it n nearly as much, but it's still a tendency that I always, I always kind of fall back on. I don't let myself, and I, I'm aware that I do it, but I try to stop myself. Um, aside from that, I just started, pretty much the new Call of Duty came out, started playing that, and lost my life into that for a little bit. Uh, just like when I was younger, I don't know if it brought back um, old memories of me, just not just memories, but like old feelings of me living a um, less stressed life, like I, like when I used to just play video games all day and not care about anything. I don't know if that's what I was trying to get back at subconsciously, but I really enjoyed the new Call of Duty, and then from there it went on to other video games, and Still at this point, I was still very confident in myself, which was weird for me because I had never been so confident in myself, especially after the whole uh, breakup. I was confused at how I could be so confident, but I had so much confidence in myself. I was still depressed and I was still falling off, but my confidence was up and I was meeting new people. Maybe that's part of it. Um, I started seeing someone and the, the confidence since then has just dropped and honestly like I'm really happy um, around this person but I can't figure out why my confidence has dropped and my my motivation isn't where it was when when I got um, pretty much when I was in my last relationship I just had so much motivation to better myself and I don't know why that that is how my brain works but I just am motivated f to make others happy and make others see the best in me and make others proud and that's kind of what having a significant other does for me it, and it's not a good thing for say I, I don't think it's the best and I'm waiting to see a counselor f to talk about most of this stuff but for now, I just thought I would put it out there on the books, just because, like, I, I know I went back and watched some of my old videos not too long ago, and I really did put it all out there back then, and it, it's very eye-opening to see how far I've come, and I hope that in a few years from now, I will um, look back at this and and be prouder, be more proud of myself for how far I've come, but... Like I said, it kind of just fell off everything, lost my confidence, lost my motivation, and here we are, I'm still, I'm, I'm really trying, it's, it's hard, like honestly, I will, I'll just show you guys some stuff here, but, uh, so, this is, I, I was so disciplined, and I would carry this pocket journal, I had some, I had lofty questions, I had everything organized, my morning routine, uh, reasons I deserve to succeed, you know, I have goal setting, like, I, I have it all in here, I, I, and I would, I would read this every day, I would, 
add to it every day. Um, there's there, there's everything in here. There's uh, how to learn. There's there's quotes. There's there's, uh, there's how to how to take notes. Um, there's books that I want to read and such. Um, so this was my like everyday carry book, and then I have. I got so many books and notebooks on my desk that have just been sitting here, honestly. Like, I was reading a lot, and uh, so I asked for books for Christmas, and I got... Actually, I think I bought this, but I, I received... I, I, this was in my Amazon... Um, my Amazon wish list, and I didn't realize it was a pocket edition, but I already bought this. Anyways, I've. this is how far I've made it since Christmas since Christmas and it's it's pathetic honestly I'm, I'm not I'm not gonna beat around the bush it, it is pathetic that I've, I've done this but I mean I'm trying like to get over stuff and, and uh, figure myself out mentally so also got this Rich Dad Poor Dad I, I'm really interested in reading this book I, I really want to start a business I want I want to be successful so bad and I, I really do believe I have the means and the smarts to do it I just um, need to get back into that discipline lifestyle and uh, you know see what we can do I've been learning about stocks still I fell off on that I was doing a lot of that kind of stuff learning about stocks learning about everything um, doing yoga I really was doing it all. So this here is my old book. This this was my goals. So this um, this is how to how to set goals. Such blah blah blah. Um, I don't know where the front page is here, but regardless, yeah, goals and it's pretty much you know we got the five year goals. Um, five year goals. Uh, like what's some questions. Uh, we got five year goal solutions and action plan. Um, this was October 2nd, 2019. About the short term goals, and I pretty much blew through most of those. Um, they were due December 25th. Uh, like I said, I kind of started falling off towards the beginning of December, so some of the um, weightlifting ones I, I didn't completely get to, but or fitness, I should say. Um, and then every week on Sundays, I would write my weekly goals down here. So you'd see, and I would grade them every Sunday. I would grade myself on how well I did. And I would have a reflection. And uh, depending what my overall grade was and how many of each grades I got, I would have rewards for myself, such as, like, I would get bonuses for, um, receiving, for, like, I would get a bonus for having a third of all of my goals, which there's usually around 19 goals, uh, for the week, I would have a bonus for having them all, um, or having over one third of them, um, A minus or A plus, and 